The 10 most embarrassing things Will Smith desperately wants you to forget ASAP and the stories behind them. 10. The Slap Dubbed the slap heard round the world, Will Smith rocked Chris Rock's world with an open-palmed whack in response to a joke at the 2022 Oscars. Chris was hosting the best documentary feature and opened with a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith starring in the next G.I. Jane movie because she was bald. Will didn't take kindly to Chris's humor, walking calmly on stage to deliver a thump that left Chris speechless and almost in tears. The telecast was live, but was muted in the United States. Will Smith is seen to have said for Chris to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. But after a slap like that, we're surprised Chris Rock had teeth left, much less any names on his tongue. The moment was unscripted and unexpected, but hundreds of Oscars guests thought it might have been part of the shtick. Their nervous laughter and gasps could be heard before the program was muted. In the aftermath, Jada claimed she didn't know anything about what Will Smith was going to do, and that while the joke upset her, she didn't expect Will to jump up and slap Chris Rock. Will publicly apologized and was banned from Academy events for the next decade. Chris Rock turned the incident into a positive with a new set of jokes for his comedy routines. If you thought Will wants you to forget the slap, wait till you see the event he really wants you to forget that involved his mom and his girlfriend in an apartment kitchen. And don't forget to subscribe for more. 9. The Cry Jada Pinkett Smith is what many have referred to as a free spirit, but many more refer to her as an evil person. On Red Table Talk, her tell-all show, she put the word entanglement on the map, making it synonymous with an affair when she revealed to Will Smith that she had cheated on him in 2016. The affair was apparently while the pair were taking a break from their relationship and she had become close with her son's friend, August Alsina. In the 2020 episode, Will got highly emotional, fighting back tears as Jada described the romantic involvement. She talked about emotions and thought she was in love. Well, we believe the only things entangled were her limbs with August's during the deed. She and Will hashed out their feelings and committed to healing and moving forward from the experience. Of course, the internet got a hold of Will Smith's crying face and made it a meme. And it stuck around for the last four years. When Will saw it, he said he wasn't crying, just dehydrated from too much coffee making his eyes water. Yeah, okay, buddy. Number 8. The Depression Will Smith has been emasculated by Jada Pinkett Smith more times than anyone can count, but this one is depressing. On Jada's 37th birthday, Will threw her a lavish get-together. He hired Mary J. Blige, traced Jada's family roots on a vast map, and made her into the queen he believed her to be. Any other woman would have been proud to receive such a thoughtful gift, but not Jada. She raged and mocked Will, calling it a ridiculous display of ego because she believed he threw the party to hype his image instead of celebrating her. Maybe he did, but she could have taken the high road and been thankful for having the money to have such an extravagant shindig. Will Smith is a self-professed funny man who always finds the good in everything. He always has a reason to smile, but it seems his wife is the opposite, bringing him down at every turn with moments that humiliate and degrade him as both a person and an actor. Soon after, Will Smith fell into a deep depression, believing he couldn't do anything suitable for his wife. He would eventually pull himself out of it, but it left a stain that wouldn't come out of their marriage. Number 7. The Matrix While Will Smith has hyped Keanu Reeves for his role in the 1999 sci-fi film The Matrix, the actor admitted that he had been offered the lead role as Neo but turned it down to play in Wild Wild West instead. The Wild Wild West was a lousy movie, point blank. Even Will Smith has admitted that and regrets turning down the Neo role. He said he would kick himself daily on the Wild Wild West set, wishing he'd taken on The Matrix, but it was too late. To solve his self-inflicted shame, Will said that he would have messed The Matrix up because few of the original cast would have been in the movie. I did y'all a favor, he joked to Keanu Reeves. In case you forgot, Wild Wild West was about James West, a rough rider helping a fellow Civil War hero stop a Confederate scientist. The Matrix tells the story of a dystopian future where humans are trapped in a simulated reality. Now, which one would you rather see? You live, you learn. In this case, Will Smith learned not to be in lame movies. Side fact, if Will Smith had been cast as Neo, the studio was looking at Val Kilmer for the part of Morpheus. However, since Keanu Reeves was cast as the lead, the producers thought that Lawrence Fishburne would compliment him as a counterpart. Number 6. The Feud The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is where Will Smith got his role. It was a show about a wayward teenager sent to his aunt and uncle to live a life of discipline and luxury. Hilarity ensued. However, life on the set wasn't always laughter and love. 
In fact, between Jane Hubert, the actress who played Aunt Viv, and Will Smith, was a lifelong feud that saw Jane leave the show. She was the original Aunt Viv for the first three seasons. So what happened? Jane Hubert claims that she and Will fought all the time. She blamed pregnancy at the time because she was no longer laughing, smiling, or joking because things were going on that no one knew about. So she brought her disastrous home life to the show where she and Will would stop the set in heated arguments that lasted hours. Before Jane left, her salary had been cut, while Will Smith's salary had been increased. This caused a massive rift between the two because Jane believed Will hadn't stood up for her when the directors asked his opinion about her work. Instead, he threw her under the bus, making it look like she did everything wrong and recommending that she be fired. While Jane Hubert wasn't fired, she did choose to leave, and her fights with Will Smith were just one of the many reasons why. The two took jabs at one another for 27 years through press interviews. Will said, she's just mad. Well, Jane claimed, Will is still an egomaniac and has yet to grow up. On the 30th anniversary of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the pair sat down and hashed out their creative differences. Jane and Will apologized to one another, made amends, and went their separate ways. Number 5. The Hookup In 2013, a rumor was brewing that Will Smith was entangled in a hookup with his co-star Margot Robbie on the set of The Suicide Squad. The pair were captured in a photo booth, joking and flashing the camera. Margot Robbie quickly pointed out that the flash had been faked and that there wasn't anything going on between the two. However, Will was slower to respond but mimicked the same reply that Margot had given. The Suicide Squad production team leaked the photo booth pictures. The booth had been brought in for fun, as a stress reliever. Margot Robbie and Will Smith took full advantage as some crew saw them canoodling in the dark before the pictures were taken. The final word? We are just friends, that is all, Will claimed. Margot Robbie seems like a sweet person, definitely a blonde bombshell. So if he was involved in an affair with her while on set, who could blame him? Sure, it's scandalous, but have you seen the guy's marriage? What a tragedy. Number 4. The Punishment Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith have always been eccentric in their marriage and how they raise their children. But it didn't stop the shock from hearing Will say that his kids, Jaden and Willow, were never punished growing up. He said they wouldn't understand the concept because they'd been given complete control over their lives since the beginning. When asked what happened when Jaden or Willow made a lousy decision and got themselves in trouble, Will responded, they have responsibility for their lives. Meaning that mom and dad were there for moral support, but they wouldn't be bailing them out of any situation. This information was revealed in 2013, and since then, Will Smith's kids have made many bad public decisions. It makes you wonder if they had been taught wrong from right with consequences, would they still have made those bad decisions? Will Smith has publicly said that maybe no consequences weren't such a great idea. Number 3. The Church of Scientology Scientology is a religion described as many different things, from a business to a pyramid scheme and even a cult. The belief system states that humans are spiritual beings living in physical hosts, floating through multiple lives on Earth and extraterrestrial planets. Celebrities like Tom Cruise, Mimi Rogers, and Elizabeth Moss are Scientologists and members of the Church of Scientology. Why is this bizarre? Because the Church of Scientology is run like a cult with different rules that members must follow to remain in the church. Will Smith has been linked to Scientology many times due to his beliefs, and he has openly admitted to studying Scientology through Tom Cruise's teachings. However, he has said he studied all religions, so you can't be sure that he chose Scientology as the go-to for his spiritual beliefs. It usually wouldn't matter what a celeb's religious views were, but Will Smith set off backlash when he claimed Scientology was like Christianity. He compared Scientology teachings to those found in the Bible. However, he later declared that while he studied the concepts, he isn't and has never been associated with the Church of Scientology. Does Will Smith believe that we are all aliens? Maybe. But he's hard pressed to admit it. He's also stated that neither his wife nor kids are into Scientology as a lifestyle either, so we guess mum is the word. Number 2. The Major Box Office Flop Will Smith has been involved in some stinkers in his time, but After Earth was an absolute bomb. It starred Will and his teenage son, Jaden Smith, following the story of a father and son traversing an extraterrestrial wilderness. It was a set in the future thriller that would have been best left in the past. In 2013, After Earth spent more money than it did in gross revenue for the entire time it was at the box office. The budget for filming was $130 million, while it made a low $45 million upon release. Will Smith called the film his most personal failure, and he took a hiatus from acting because the film's collapse hit him so hard. Jaden, on the other hand, like any teenager, bounced back because his career had only just begun. 
While we believe the movie sucked with no explanation, others think that the film flopped because of its competition at the box office in May of 2013. Moviegoers were excited to see Star Trek Into Darkness and Iron Man 3, totally overshadowing After Earth. Additionally, After Earth opened on the same day as Now You See Me, a thriller that grossed almost $400 million. Number 1. The Mom, The Girlfriend, and The Apartment Kitchen In 2011, Will Smith invited the world to know him better in a tell-all memoir entitled Will. He recounted one of his most humiliating moments when his mom walked in on him being intimate with his then-girlfriend. He was 16 years old living with his mother then, and the deeply and totally in love pair were getting frisky in the apartment kitchen. The fresh Prince of Bel-Air actor said that his mother had come downstairs to make herself a cup of coffee, flipped the light switch, and found the couple love-locked in the throes of teenage passion. Cringe. Instead of writing the incident down as something that just happened in the realm of teenage embarrassment, Will Smith dug deeper into his memoir. He reflected on the incident, obviously feeling horrible for subjecting his mom to such a sight. He said, This moment of personal behavior makes the least sense to me. He then called his ex-girlfriend the victim of one of his lowest points in his life. Click here to see more embarrassing things your favorite actors desperately want you to forget. See you there.